you know. year, you don't really have an excuse because you're going to want to stay inside. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We do have a winter storm on the way for Sunday. It's still far away. I'll show you the map in just a second, but it's thousands of miles away. So a lot of things can still change about the forecast, but there are some things that are for sure. First thing is that there's a lot of moisture with this system. There's going to be plenty of precipitation. It's just where is it going to be snow? Where is it going to be rain? How much snow? Things like that. It is going to be changing to snow and uh, we're looking at the chance for it changing earlier in the day with the latest data. How much is going to melt? That's a really big question because we've been so warm and it's going to be changing over. And then what exact amounts are there going to be because of the melting? The melting is definitely going to take a chunk out of our totals. Slick travel is going to be possible Sunday into Monday morning. I think Monday morning is going to be your biggest impact for your morning commute. Water vapor imagery showing that weekend storm far, far away, a couple thousand miles at this point, which is why uh, things can change big time as we head into the weekend. So stay tuned to the forecast. Cast. It is going to change. Our uh, Chicka Shea cam decided not to work today, but it was showing Old Glory blowing around, and it's probably because of the wind that it is not currently connected right now. 65 degrees is your current temperature. Winds gusting from the south up to 30, 35 miles per hour in spots there. Your temperature is mid, low 60s, upper 60s, and 70s all through eastern Oklahoma. It is a warm day and really does not feel like we have a winter storm incoming for the weekend. There's your winds gusts. Um, definitely throw the hair up in a ponytail. Be careful of door dings when you're opening your door today. Two hands on the steering wheel, all that, because these wind gusts are no joke all through Oklahoma. We're used to it, though. Metro highs today in the mid upper 60s by this afternoon. The wind is going to stick with us all day long today. Upper 60s uh, to the further south you go and some 70s mixed in there as well. Overnight tonight, mid 40s. I think we are going to be well above average for this time of year. Normally we're in the upper 20s, so this is a big change from that. 44 in Oklahoma City. We got upper 30s mixed in in western Oklahoma in the panhandle tomorrow afternoon mid 60s yet again it is still going to be breezy but not quite as breezy as today and then tomorrow afternoon and evening there is a chance for some showers and maybe even some thunderstorms that move through on mainly in eastern and southeastern Oklahoma but there's a 20 percent chance in for Oklahoma City but here's what everyone wants to know about the weekend rain and snow chances starting off in the panhandle with the snow changing over Saturday evening and then overnight into Sunday Sunday morning, we continue to see snow chances ramp up, especially in western Oklahoma. I think western Oklahoma sees some of the highest totals with this storm. We see a lot of rain for the rest of the state into Sunday morning, Sunday midday into Sunday night. All changes over to snow and again the timing of this is going to determine a lot of your totals uh, but this is kind of the preliminary map we have here latest data brings it a little bit further south bullseyes can still shift as we head into the weekend but right now looks like highest totals in western Oklahoma two to four inches is what it looks like we're going to be getting here in the metro north sides of the metro have the possibility of getting higher totals as far as impacts go I think Monday morning is what we're really looking looking at because I think most people kind of stay at home watching this the Super Bowl on Sunday and if you're traveling for any Super Bowl parties that's also going to be an impact for you traveling home on Sunday evening but snow and ice covered roadways definitely possible for Monday morning making for some slick travel right now though mid upper 60s the next few days we see some showers on Saturday night and into Sunday then we have um, then we have the snow that moves in on Sunday night and into Monday morning. Lisa.